Hi y'all, I just want to remind you about the giveaway again. A $25 Amazon gift card once I reach 100 subscribers. Now, make sure uh, to enter to like and share this video. And after you share it, just comment below shared. And also, if you want your name put in five times, remember after you subscribe, go to on, on the YouTube uh, web page or the YouTube app, wherever you uh, subscribe, you're subscribed at, whichever one you watch under, make sure you comment under the giveaway time video subscribed, all right? Under the giveaway time video, make sure you write uh, subscribed under there. You will have to go to my YouTube page to see that video. All right, I hope y'all enjoy this video that's coming up. Y'all have a good day. Hi, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. I do not know which uh, way I will be posting these videos, so I explained them that I'm doing three different videos that I'll be posting, but I'm doing them all today. And so you're going to be seeing the same shirt, so that's why. Right now, I'm getting ready to do up some eggplant and squash to be frying. I'm going to fry it. So you start with your, you know, your squash, your eggplant, you wash them. Then some people leave this peelings on them, the skins. I don't. Um, well, I say I don't. For the most part, I don't. I know I don't on my eggplant. I don't want it left on my eggplant. It seems like it's bitter. And for the squash, when I'm frying, I really don't either. When I'm sauteing, I will. Um, you know, if I have some little thin places, I may leave it on. Um, but you're just going to peel it. And I was cutting out some bad spots. And let me bring you down. So get this one. I'd already started. Just kind of get as close as to the meat as you can. You could use a vegetable peeler. I just use a, just a plain old knife. This is not that uh, crook neck yellow, but it was given to me, so beggars can't be choosed or it has the little bumps on it. And you know, I always say, oh, I don't really like the bumpy squash, but Hey, if someone's kind enough to give me some, I do not complain. But when I have grown it, I grow the crook neck. Well, that kind of slid there, didn't it? <laughs> this knife isn't real sharp. I guess I should have searched for a sharper knife. I know there are some here. I just grabbed this one and went to work. Okay. Then you don't want to slice it paper thin. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and do this eggplant also. I'm just not sure how good y'all can see me here. I'm gonna cut the end off there. I'm gonna cut the other end off. And start peeling it. straight down. I may end up going to find me a sharper knife in a minute. And then I'm just kind of going around there and I'll come back and kind of do the same here. Now while I finish that, I may go look for a knife, but I'm going to show you how I slice, okay? I'm going to try and get to where you can see. So, um, 
I sliced them about like this. Can you see that? That one wasn't even. Let me try another one. It's not super thin. Oop, I find out where you are. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I know if you're watching from your television, it's going to be um, look thicker, look bigger. You just kind of to just go through and slice it. Remember, the thicker it is, the longer it's going to take to cook. But you want it. You don't want it so paper thin that all you have is the breading. Okay, this is kind of like the good slice there. You see my, which I have a little finger. You see about how that is? Like maybe a slice of a regular, um, a thick slice piece of bologna, like the Oscar Mayer thick slice bologna maybe. And then the eggplant, we will do it the same way. And then sometimes when you get down to the end, some of it may be like really white at the end. You may have, once you slice that, you may have cut it in half. So I'm going to go back, go and finish all of this and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. I have my skillet on and it is heating up with some oil in it right now. I'm going to take cornmeal mix, make sure it's cornmeal mix and not just plain um, cornmeal. That means it has the um, some flour in it too. And it doesn't matter for, for this if it's uh, self-rising or, uh, you know, not self-rising. And I just sprinkle some in a pie dish or any kind of dish, whatever dish I'm using at the time at home. Then I take and I put salt and pepper in it. Um, now, if I was making this just for me, I would not probably put the salt in. I got so used to not really eating salt when uh, my husband was on a sodium restricted diet. If me, I'd put a ton more pepper in. Okay. Got to mix that up. I'm sorry, I forgot to bring y'all down here. So I put the cornmeal mix in, the salt and the pepper. Now, move that over here. What I am going to do with this, I have my, you can see here, this is the squash, this is the eggplant. And I'm just going to pour a little bit of milk on it. I just want to kind of moisten it. Don't want swimming in milk. I just want to moisten a little. I got a little too much that time. And again, kind of salt and pepper. And then just kind of stir it around and try to get most of it moistened as you can. You want this on about a medium to medium high heat. You know, of course everybody's different. My glass top uh, cooks different than this gas. I wish I had a gas stove, um, but that was not feasible at the time because of the house that was on our property. I think I told you before it got destroyed by storms, but. It was an underground home and there was not a way to put a cast line in and you know I'm not gonna go out and just buy a new stove because I want a certain kind. I'll wait till that one quits on me. Alright. I think 
that's good. Now let me um, test that oil and see if it's about ready. Um, okay. I'll bring it back in just a moment. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I'm back now. I was getting ready to test the oil. So I just put a little bit of cold water in it. See if it sizzles and pops. <laughs> I didn't want that popping on me. I forgot to bring a apron. And so I didn't want that popping up here on my shirt. So I want to hurry and move out of the way. Okay, I'm going to lower my heat just a little. I think that's kind of high there. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna to try to keep one dry hand and one wet hand. Okay, so let's pull this, this over here. I'm gonna start with my squash and I'm just going to dip it in there. And slide in always you know kind of slide it away from you and it will cook pretty fast let me bring you closer so you can see it's about as close as I can get you right now you don't want to crowd it if it tries to go there if you try to crowd just kind of Bring it apart and let me go ahead and get me a plate with paper towels and say get finished. I can put it on there. float around, flip it, and it starts floating, flip it for a little bit, that means the one side's just about done, okay, get some more in, you kind of have to work a little fast here, Put a few eggplants in also. If you wanted to do fried green tomatoes, the same way. That one's kind of thick, but I'll go ahead and cook it. You know, my husband and I sometimes would go to the farmer's market and get some of this stuff. And we would just, he loved fried eggplant. And we would make that kind of like our... I know it doesn't really have protein, but that would be like our meat substitute and our vegetable. We get that and some green onions, and that one looks like it still needs to cook a little longer. And um, tomatoes, green onions, some of the eggplant, and we would just make a meal out of it. All right, I'm waiting. Um, let me show you what this looks like. I know I said in the other videos that I'm doing the three today. You see how that's nice and golden brown? That I met my son. So my son and his wife are camera shy, so they will not be taste testing anything for you. All right. I will bring you back when those are finished. I want you to see this squash. Notice how there's kind of room in there. I'm not crowding it. You don't want to crowd it or it's going to take you all night to cook it. And it's going to be full of grease too. All right, I'll be back in a little while. Okay, y'all, I have one thing of squash left cooking. And other than that, it's finished. I'm going to get a squash. I'm going to get an eggplant. And I'm going to taste test both of them. Mm. That is good. I 
I love squash and eggplant both, so I cannot tell you which one I like better. I do know my husband preferred the eggplant, okay? I'm sorry, sorry I didn't show y'all, so. Good, good, good. Well, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. So, <clears throat> give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Please, please share this video. And in the, uh, as soon as I work some things out a little bit, we're going to be talking about a giveaway once we get to 100 subscribers. Um, and I'm going to do giveaways for each time we climb. But when we get to 100, I will be doing a giveaway and I will uh, talk to you about that um, probably about in a week or two. But please make sure to share it, subscribe, hit the little bell notification. Um, and now remember to subscribe. You will have to kind of create, you don't have to create a YouTube channel, but you will have, you know, put in a username and make a password and all of that. You will have to do that. Um, if there's a way around it, I don't know. I'm not smart enough to know that. So remember to always season your cooking with love and to always, always cook for those you love. And you know what? Sometimes we even have to feed our enemies and that's fine too because the scripture says for us to feed our enemies and sometimes you may need to do that. <clears throat> sometimes you may need to just invite someone into your home that's never been there. You know, maybe someone you go to church with and pray for ways that God will show you how you can be a serve it in your home. Now you can use your home for his glory. All right, guys. Love you, and um, I'll be back another day.